Dash 10, 9, 8, the clock is 7, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor, go and run left. Minus 10, 9, 8, the clock is seven, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor, go and run left. Minus 10, 9, 8, the clock is seven, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor, go and run left. What we're seeing here is a movie of Jupiter's north polar region taken by NASA's Cassini spacecraft as it flew by Jupiter in late 2000. This movie is taken with an ultraviolet filter on the Cassini camera, which is sensitive to Jupiter's stratosphere the high part of the atmosphere, uh, which we can't, haven't been able to see with cameras from the previous spacecraft. This movie shows features that we haven't seen before with other spacecraft uh, because we now have the use of this ultraviolet filter. And in particular, we were surprised to see the formation of a large dark oval uh, we see the beginning of this oval forming. Uh, it eventually grows to the size and shape of the Great Red Spot, which is uh, more than two times the size of the Earth. And after about a month or so, it moves uh, further towards the east and deforms into a very uh, irregular shape. Uh, so it's exciting that we caught this formation and evolution of this, this large feature, which hasn't really been seen before on Jupiter. There's a relationship or an analogy that we can draw between what we're seeing here on Jupiter and some things we've been seeing on the Earth. Uh, the, the analogous thing on Earth is the formation and evolution of the ozone hole. Uh, it's analogous in the sense that both the ozone hole on Earth and these dark particles in Jupiter's stratosphere uh, can be used to tell us about the circulation of the stratospheres of both of those planets, even though chemically they are very different. They, uh, they are able to, to show us features of the stratospheric circulation and transport of material across boundaries in the stratosphere, across latitude circles, 
how this happens, uh, we, we can uh, use both of those mechanisms uh, on both Jupiter and the Earth to see this. We see waves in this movie in addition to the large spot. Uh, these waves are mostly outside of the 60 degree latitude circle between about 60 degrees latitude and 40 degrees latitude. And these waves are uh, produced by the alternating east and west jets in the atmosphere. And in this case, they tell us about exchange between polar air and equatorial air. These dark particles are being produced at the high latitudes and they're being transported to the lower latitudes. And by looking at how these waves interact with each other uh, and with the regions uh, more, more towards the pole and more towards the equator, we can get a good idea of this mechanism of transport of material from the pole to the equator. When Cassini arrives at Saturn, we hope to be able to use the same ultraviolet filter and again make a map of Saturn's polar stratosphere to look for similar types of features and other features which may tell us uh, how the stratospheric circulation is organized and how air from polar latitudes exchanges with air at, at uh, more equatorial latitudes, how this process takes place. And we're, in fact, we're planning that right now.